hey what is up you guys welcome back and in today's video I'm going to be showing you my method on beating Shin Akuma in Tekken 7 first things first guys you'll be playing as Devil Kazuya in order to get this to appear you must defeat I'm sorry you must complete the story mode in order to get to this uh, specific part of the game now um, th there are a few things to be aware of during this fight Akuma is a little bit tricky he shoots triple fireballs and he can teleport whenever he wants so just be just keep in mind uh, in order for this fight to finish I will explain that when it's all over in the meantime guys w without any further ado let's get the show on the road shall we <laughs> let's get on with the show boys and girls here we go and by the way, guys, wish me luck, because I might end up losing a life. I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> because I have died during this fight a couple times. And it's really annoying. And it's mainly because of Akuma's sneak attacks when he teleports. It's kind of frustrating. But, um, yeah. But you'll see that as the game goes on. And plus, when he teleports, he makes a funny noise. <laughs> you'll hear it when the fight takes place. Instant Carnage. There's Kazuya. Akuma. I was quite surprised he was included into this game because he's normally in Street Fighter. Oh, here we go, guys. <clears throat> Yeah, guys, Akuma is, is more famous for his Street Fighter uh, games, so... There you go, guys. Here comes the real conclusion, though. Here we go. Watch this. There it is, guys. So, yeah, guys, that is how I beat Shinakuma in Tekken 7. Yeah, guys, I know. I, <laughs> I must admit... Uh, I, I mean, I, I do know how to play fighting games to some degree, but as far as, like, the combos and whatnot, no, I'm, I'm terrible at the combos. I, like, I, I tried a few, and it's like, you gotta be really quick at mashing the buttons. So, yeah, that's what I usually do. Like, in order to beat Shin Akuma, you must press, you hold, if you're playing on the PS4, you hold down the L1 button, and then you press X. You wait till, you wanna wait till he gets near you, though, and then as soon as you do that, you know, it, it, I think it does a lot of damage, that attack, and that's why I kept doing it, because it, it kept draining his health bar, and, of course, as you noticed, as his health bar gets down to its lowest point, he will go into his rage art. That's when you rapidly want to press, um, 
you you want to rapidly press R1, and then Kazuya will do his power up, and then that's when you know you'll end the fight, and then you'll you know that's when it goes into the next cutscene, and bam, that's it, guys. So yeah, guys, I hope this uh, video was a help. I hope it helped you guys in beating a, a cool, I hope it helps you guys in the future if you decide to pick this game up. Um, yes, guys, um, this game is actually really, really awesome. Tekken 7. Um, maybe one day I'll do a Let's Play of the story mode. I don't know yet. Just let me know in the comments. What do you think? But anyway. Alrighty, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And leave a comment. And yeah, guys, again, this is Vicente. Uh, thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you next time. Adios, amigos.